After the writer John Lovett added smashed avocado to his bacon lettuce tomato sandwich, what small protein item did he add next? I'll read it one more time. After the writer John Lovett added smashed avocado to his bacon lettuce tomato sandwich, what small protein item did he add next? I, I don't want to be the person who goes, oh, I think I've solved this. So I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to back out of this question and say, I think I've got this. And I'm going to let Jeff and Jenny figure it out. And if I'm wrong, I will take the, the ribbing and humiliation that follows. I think, <laughs> I think I've got this one. So, so did adding... he invent smashed avocado on toast? But with bacon and lettuce and tomato? Is that... I'm pretty sure other people had eaten the sandwich before. I've I've never heard of anyone adding avocado to a BLT, let alone a fifth a fifth ingredient. Have you not? That's okay. This is this is a really common thing. I I think in Australia, I've I've had this a couple of times. I've heard it in a few places. In Shoreditch, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. We could be talking about literally anything, and you could be like, "Oh, this is really common in Australia," and I would be like, "Oh, okay, sure." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I know this because... All right, are you ready for a long rambling story that goes nowhere? I uh, was in Australia many, many years ago for the eclipse that was there, which must have been like 2012, 2013, something like that. And I missed the eclipse by like two kilometres. The next beach over had a break in the cloud and they saw it. And we just got a lot of darkness and didn't see a, a, a single thing. And I remember being quite frustrated about that. And then I remember the sandwich I had afterwards because I remember sitting on a beach cafe up in the northeast of Australia and having a moment of going, oh, life's not so bad, is it? As I sat back and had a BLT with avocado, which they call a blat. B -L -A and, and anything else, Tom? Was it, was it like a fifth thing? Anything else in that? <laughs> no, but I think if we're talking about adding letters to a BLT like that, I think I might have solved it. If, however, it's not about adding letters to a BLT, I'm entirely wrong and I'm back in the question. Annie? You should keep sitting out. Oh. Okay. Okay. That, I'm, I'm going to have that clue and say that, us, that Bye, Australia... Bye, Tom! Australia Banish. calls it a, calls it a black, and I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. Jenny, Jenny what, what, what other things could we add? For example, I want to say peanut butter. I don't know why. Blap it, blapped. <laughs> You're bad. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, if you made it, if you added something with an S, it would be blast or blast. blast. Oh. Um, Things that begin with S, go. Salmon? <laughs> salmon? Sushi? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> um, but I mean, I, I was thinking, uh, yeah, like prawns or something, but that wouldn't be good and wouldn't make a, and wouldn't make a good acronym either. Um uh, I'll give I'll give you a little tiny hint if if that's okay. It doesn't have to be in blat order. Okay. Oh right, an anagram. Cool. Uh, <laughs> let me anagram on the fly without writing anything down. Um, <laughs> Actually, it probably helps. I had a pen and paper for this. That's. And remember that the smashed avocado. There are different names for that. Smashed avocado. Oh, are there different names for that? So smashed avocado? Well, uh, sort of. Mushed avocado. Uh, <laughs> trouble is, I'm not big on avocados. And when I, by what, what I mean is I, I don't like avocados, so I'd never do this or eat them. I don't know of any other names for smashed avocado. I wouldn't know what you call smashed avocado. I didn't anagram this, so I've not got it all the way. Okay, well, what's like a, it, it, with chips? You, you definitely know this thing. It's an avocado thing. Mushy peas. No, that was... Oh, you guys are being so British right now. Um, <laughs> oh, come uh, on, come on. It's, this is not, okay, no, okay. I'm going to say my solution then, and I don't think I've got it right. I okay. assumed that the small protein item was an egg, which would give you B-L-E-A-T, which would give you bleat, or if you anagram that, you get table. And I assumed <laughs> that was the pun. So am I wrong there? It's not egg. <laughs> um... You were wrong. It's it's not. Oh, it's, oh! It's, I was so confident. Tom, you're, you're back in the room. Back I'm in the back game. In the room. Come on. Yeah, give me a give me a table sandwich. It's humiliating. I'm wrong. Well, you put you you eat a sandwich off a plate that's on a table. That's a plate. It's going to be plate. 
it, I need all no? my food to spell out the the items near me in life. <laughs> That's such a funny like thing. No, it's not. It does not spell out table. The idea of an egg isn't totally wrong, but it's not a normal egg. Um, just, and we're going for a different a different acronym or word. And it, and it's it's definitely a it's definitely a protein. You just say protein. Right? It is a small protein item. A small protein, like tiny nuts. Uh, I didn't say it couldn't be an egg, but don't think about eggs when you're trying to get to the answer because you want to think about the letter. And is it A for avocado? No, it's you. you still haven't gotten S for smashed this, avocado. The, the smashed avocado dish. No, there's like a thing. Oh, guacamole! Guacamole. Yes. Okay. Uh, right. God, I, I thought you all didn't know what it, guacamole was for a long time. Oh my <laughs> God! It's LGBT. <laughs> what did he add? It's either a Q or a plus. So is it like... A quail's egg. Yes! Yes! I stole it from you, Tom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I was going for quinoa, which said a lot about, about what, I've, what I've been oh. eating. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tom. That's entirely yours. No, it's not. I was nowhere near... I, 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 got, I sold for blat and then found table. I was so <laughs> confident. I was completely wrong. You were leaning back in your chair, looking so smug. Thinking, oh, I know, table. How did none of us get guacamole? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm worried that a lot of the internet are shouting guacamole at their screen yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. The, a lot of the internet, there's a lot of people on, on commutes and in cars who have just been screaming <laughs> guacamole for the last, like, two, three minutes. I cannot believe we didn't spot. I'm so sorry, ah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> you thought um, it was peas. <laughs> I didn't think I it that. was peas, but I just there was there was some there was some American publication <laughs> that claimed that mushy peas and guacamole were basically the same thing, and they're really not. They're really not. Every time, uh, so part of my job involves uh, part of my job as a tour guide involves um, bringing Americans to pubs, and um, I say to them, "Oh, you must get the fish and chips while you're here." And then very often it comes with mushy peas, and the look of disgust that they give me what what is this and i'm like oh it's just peas it's just peas that just smashed up and they they like pick at it like moving it away so it's so it doesn't touch the fish it's just peas you did a really good california accent there what <laughs> is <you>. this <laughs> what is this <laughs> Yes, in 2017, Levitt tweeted that he had made an LGBT sandwich by taking a standard BLT and adding guacamole. And he later expanded on the idea by adding a quail's egg to make an LGBTQ. And in 2019, the British retail company M&S released their own LGBT sandwich in their food outlets in support of Pride. Some of the proceeds even went to charity supporting homeless LGBT youngsters. 